Hello YouTubers, Facebookers, whomever is watching this. Um, this is Trey's face. I wanted to do a video today talking about how to detox from toxic people. And I know from experience it can be very difficult in trying to figure out how to do this, uh, especially when you're surrounded by negativity, uh, blame shifting, projecting, uh, you know, you name it, the manipulation, the lies. It's, it's tiring. And I know, and I know a lot of other people have shared uh, with me and um, that I read about and watched a lot of information about this for years now. I have been studying these type of robotic souls, if you will, uh, along with understanding why we get trapped and feeling trapped with these type of people and what really is going on. So I wanted this video to be about how to detox. One of the first things that happens to people uh, is they start to notice that they feel, they don't feel right. They've kind of lost interest in the things that they once really loved to do. Uh, they don't feel motivated. They don't feel worthy of the things that they wanted to achieve in life. Uh, and they start to feel more of the things that the narcissist feels, more depressed, more negative, uh, more anxiety. Uh, and through time, I know a lot of people have spoken about how they almost feel like the narcissist gets, you're watching the narcissist gain more power, uh, gain more access to things. Their life seems to be getting, you know, looks, looks like it's progressing and your life just seems to kind of be declining. And it makes sense because the energy that they suck out from the people around them, it's just this never ending cycle and you don't realize it, that it's happening. And uh, a lot of people have reported as well, and I can attest to this, that you start, weird things start happening to you, random bad things, bad things with your health, bad luck in general. Uh, all of a sudden you're having back issues. I, I, so many people have reported that they have back issues and in the spirit world, when you talk about the Jezebel spirit, that is apparently where the Jezebel spirit attacks you is the back. It, it's it's uh, attached to the spine. Um, and I believe this. I really do because I went through it. And I still have effects of this. Um, and so anyhow, and, and all these other kinds of health ailments I've, I've heard about when you're surrounded by a toxic person's energy or probably for some or a lot of us, it's multiple toxic people's energy. And um, so it can be very draining and it can affect your health and it can just make you feel like not trying or not caring anymore. So you, one of the first things to get to a place that you're back, I mean, I know for me, I used to really be into taking care of myself and being healthy and learning about different supplements and different things I can be eating and different exercises I can be doing that is good for my body type. And I was really into this um, before I really got pushed down by n narcissists in my life. Um, the one in particular who just really made me feel like uh, less than um, and through time I just gave up. I just sort of gave up. And I also saw how um, they were really into themselves and into their image and and it just it just kind of turned me off to the whole thing so getting back to myself which was one of the last videos i made uh talking about how we really have to just disconnect ourselves from other people that are are giving us this kind of influence disconnect yourself completely and start to focus when you notice that you're you're focusing on the narc and you're focusing on their behavior do this little exercise. It's a little trick that really works. Touch your nose when you when you have these thoughts, these obsessive thoughts. Just touch your nose or touch something on your body. And it's a physical way of indicating to the brain that, no, I'm doing it again. 
that what how am I going to turn this around? I'm going to turn it around. Think about me. Think about what I need to do today. Think about what I was just focused on before I I shifted off. My brain shifted off and thought about the narc. So um, I wrote some notes here because I wanted to make sure I didn't forget anything. And uh, I I have really been trying, like I said, the last few weeks to, to just focus on who I remembered being before I got involved with uh, a lot of toxic people in my life and, and allowed them to have space in my life. And uh, I am putting a stop to that by uh, focusing and shifting the energy back onto me and what it is that I want to do and what it is that I need to be doing for my life. And we can be doing little things every day, little, little changes, little habits that we can fix, that we can change, that we can do to start feeling better about ourselves. Because one of the things that happens is right. We don't feel good about ourselves when somebody is lying to you and uh, you catch them in lies and then they gaslight those lies and tell you that you didn't see that, it never happened, uh, or you're, you're focused too much on this and you're not seeing this when, no, you're not focused on what you're trying to point out. You're pointing out what you saw. You're pointing out what you know. But um, we all know how that works, right? So here we are. We're back to focusing on ourselves. And so what I wanted to talk to you about some things that I learned uh, that really help you with different aspects of your health and your moods. Uh, one of the first things I want to talk to you about that I discovered actually on a group talking about narcissistic abuse survivors. And this is called um, rhodiola extract. And uh, it's, it's known for helping with depression. Uh, it fights fatigue. Um, it actually decreases. It's known to decrease stress. Who doesn't need that? Um, it improves your brain functioning, uh, improves exercise performance, and it helps actually control diabetes. So you can take this in the morning um, while you eat breakfast. And at night, I've been taking two a day. I have noticed a difference. Um, one of the things that happens to me sometimes is I get really on this kick and then, uh, you know, I kind of, I go off of it uh, if I forgot to bring my vitamins with me for the day or I'm rushing around in the morning. Um, but I really, I remembered my old self, um, my old strong self would not forget my vitamins. So this is this is one of the ones that I, I know 5-HTP is another one that will fight depression and um, and it's it's known for a mood enhancer as well. But I guess this one actually has better results and people are, are reporting that they are on this and they got off their antidepressants. I am not into uh, psychotropic meds. I don't believe in them, but... Uh, so I am always looking at different supplements and, and I'm this is one that I just discovered actually a few months ago. So this is something to, to try and, and get your hands on. Um, the next thing that is has got a great reputation and I have noticed a difference is black seed oil. Um, this is known to fight pretty much everything. This stuff is like very potent. Uh, it's It's got... Um, it's known to improve your immune system. It actually reduces inflammation in your body. Um, it reduces the risk of certain cancers. It fights bacterial infections. It supports liver functioning. I can't go into every single thing that they did, but um, that all these supplements do. Um, but I just wanted to make sure I just kind of pointed out the main things that I think you'd be interested in knowing about. Um, the next thing I take every day is dandelion root. I take one a day. Dandelion root is great for digestion. Um, it actually aids in cleaning out your body from toxins and, uh, it's known to balance your blood as well. Cinnamon, it, it goes without saying what cinnamon, the benefits of cinnamon. Uh, I like to put cinnamon in, uh, my oatmeal in the morning and um, I put it in my tea. I, I love cinnamon. It has so many different benefits. I, I won't even get into cinnamon, but cinnamon, ground cinnamon, 
um, making sure it's organic is the best way to go because a lot of times, um, and I don't think this is organic that I have, um, but a lot of times I've heard that they they are not putting the right amount of, it's it's not even cinnamon that they're putting into the, I, I think I think this one is okay. I mean, I'm not tasting sawdust in the cinnamon, so I, I think we're good, but you might want to look at where you're buying your cinnamon. Um, this is obviously organic apple cider vinegar, and uh, I, I, I've I gotten used to the taste now. Um, you want to put about one tablespoon in either a warm glass of water, if you like it better that way. I like it cooled. Um, it's not as harsh. And you can have this up to three times a day. Um, basically, apple cider vinegar aids in weight loss. It actually low lowers your blood sugar. Um, it, it can actually help you with certain skin problems. I have, uh, I have very bad skin, so I do notice a difference when I'm taking that. It also flushes out um, any bacteria that you might have in your body as well. And next, I'm going to go to ground flax and chia seeds. You can put this in your oatmeal. You can put this in your smoothies. Um, I have had many different issues with my bladder since I was a child. I have a very overactive bladder. And I, used, I just discovered the other day that this is supposed to be great for um, bladder functioning and completely emptying out your bladder, because that can be a lot of the reason why um, women have issues with their bladder, or men, it's not emptying out properly. So this helps with that. And um, it's got the omega-3s, obviously. Um, it fights cancer. Um, yeah, and I told you, where, you know, it's best if you could put this, and you can put it, if you want to make your muffins or whatever, you can put it in that. And the last thing I want to talk about is the uh, green tea. Um, green tea is good for so many different things. One of the first things is weight control. Um, it helps you um, to improve your brain functioning. Uh, it, has the, it has the right amount of caffeine in it, so you're not getting the jitters and um, you're able to have a better performance when you're working out as well. It, if it burns fat, uh, helps you to burn fat. Um, and the other thing that I just discovered that I want to share with all of you as well is the importance of eating dark berries. Uh, wild blueberries are the best. They contain polyphenol. I, I don't know if I'm going to say this right. Polyphenols? I think that's how you say it. Uh, and so if you think about it, it makes sense. Back in the days, we were running around in the wild and we were eating berries and we would occasionally be happy if we did catch uh, something to have for meat, but we were eating berries and uh, berries gives you energy. So if you can take some handful of berries and eat them throughout your day, not only is it going to give you energy, um, but it the polyphenols fight are... are what's fighting against disease in your body. Um, and like I said, the darker the berry, the better. So they, they said the wild blueberries are the best. Um, I'm looking at my crazy hair. I just, I went running. It's very humid in Connecticut today. And um, so this is really what I wanted to share with everyone, some positive ways that we can detox and get healthy and it's little things that we can be doing every day to make the changes that we need to make with ourselves, right? Because we're not going to change the narc. We're never going to change them. Um, it's not to say that they can't change. I do, I do believe that everybody can change, right? Um, and because I obviously believe uh, in Jesus Christ. I believe in the, the, what is written in the Bible, I, I believe in all that. I believe that those stories hold such weight in examples of everything going on and what we see in the world around us. And I'm very big into spirituality. So so clearly, uh, you know, that's my thing. But everybody has to want to change and want to do the work. And there is something inside of these people that 
are blocking them from wanting to get that help, wanting to get better. And I, I, I see it. I see it. And there's something in dwelling inside of these people that's just very supernatural. And I believe that is why that they act, they all act the same. They all do the same things. They strategically, uh, you can predict what they're going to do. But, boop, no more about the narc. Let's talk about us and how we can heal and let's get healthy and let's get happy and let's focus on ourselves. That's all I wanted to say today. I am Trace Face. It is time we all face the truth together. I am still going to talk about a lot of the examples that narcissists uh, you know, bring into people's lives. I am going to talk a lot about that and... I'm always going to try to bring it back to a positive and how we can we can bring it back to ourselves. That's going to be my thing. I hope that you continue watching and I hope that if it's just even even if it's one person I'm able to help, uh I will do it. I will continue to do these videos because I would want to help anybody not have to go through some of the life lessons I've had to go through with uh with these these uh, demonic influences. So thanks for watching. I'm Trace Face. It's time we all face the truth together. And we'll see you soon.